Alright, Shalom. I'm a Hebrew Israelite, according to the Bible. I'm to come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, which is called America. Alright, but it's called Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah, in Egypt, according to the Holy Bible. Alright? I also come out to prophesy the salvation of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright, because you are the true chosen people according to the Bible, all right? We were driven away from our heritage, all right? And now so coming back, salvation is coming to us. All right, we've been scattered. So the Most High is calling us back to our true nationality and our true heritage, man, all right? Before I go into my lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhak Wadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, who told me the truth. And salutations to the elect, all right, the hopeful elect, your brothers out there in the four corners of the world, pushing the truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's another week, man. All right? Another week out here in Babylon. And y'all still don't know who the Lord is. Y'all still calling him Jesus Christ. Okay? A lot of y'all still don't even believe in, in, the, uh, in the Most High and the Son of the Most High, man. A lot of y'all still don't believe. Well, why is that? Because the world has blinded you. The world has lied to you. Okay? This damn devil, Esau Edom, all right, who's the so-called white man? He took knowledge away from the whole world, the true knowledge away from the whole world. Okay? Ultimately, that was the point of the Heavenly Father, taking us away from our nationality and our heritage, okay, using Esau, Edom, okay, to blind the whole world, man. So, of course, you don't know who the Messiah is. Of course, you don't know who the Heavenly Father is. Of course, you don't believe in him. Okay? But the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay, he's about to come back. And all men are in frustration with this, with this world, man. All right, he has a controversy with this land, with the inhabitants of this land. Why? Because it's, it's spiritual wickedness all over the place, okay? And I want to talk about the Messiah coming back to save his people, and how he was the ultimate sacrifice for his people. All right? But y'all rejected them. And our people, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all still reject him to this day. Y'all rejected him before, and y'all rejected him now, man. All right? But I'm going to get into that through the Spirit. Let me get this in the book of Matthew. Chapter 21. And I'm going to read verse 42. It says, Yahweh shall say unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Okay? Yeah, Yahweh shall who the world calls Jesus Christ. He said, The stone that you rejected became the head of the corner. What does that mean? The one, the, the lowly, the humble one that came to save Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all rejected him, man. And so what? He became the head of the corner. Because when he was on the scene, y'all didn't believe that he was the son of the Most High. Y'all thought he was just a regular average man. Okay? But what happened? Y'all rejected him. All right, y'all cast him down. Y'all shamed him. Y'all put a crown of thorns on his head. Okay? Mocking him, calling him, what's going on? And, and, and this is the truth. This is what a lot of this is what a lot of our people don't consider. Yeah. That's right. The whole world. The whole world is wicked. Yep. So what? Yep. Whatever, please take my daughter, because they got my daughter 21 years old. She's been on here for a year already. And they wouldn't let her come home. They make her to stay over there for another year. Now my baby's gonna go have to fight. They call on the Lord. You know? I am. I, I'm praying, Lord. but I'm saying I see that you're praying. So I'm asking you, could you please do the same? Her name is Micaiah. Micaiah? Yeah, she just turned 21. I want her to come home. All right, sister. You know? Yeah. Hey, hey, man. The truth is up, man. Okay? Look.
look, everybody know about the, the war between um, uh, Ukraine and Russia. All right, everybody know the invasion on Ukraine from Russia. Let me, I'll say it like that, okay? Which is all the spirit, which is all through the spirit, all right? The doing of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh all right? All right, this, these are signs that the Messiah is coming back, all right, to, to deliver his people and to, uh, to destroy the wicked inhabitants of this land, man, okay? This is the Lord's doing, all right? But back to the point, all right, this is Matthew chapter 21, Verse 42, it says, Yahweh shall save unto them. Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Okay? Again, what's going on? God bless you, man. All right, all right. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. her. I mean, just a lot more than I do. So, like, God bless you, really. <laughs> I really. I have so much respect for you. I really do. Yeah, I mean, because you read the Bible yourself? I, yeah, I do follow Christ, yes. Yeah, okay, so, like, you know that the Lord cannot be held in within temples. That's that's really why I'm out here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, he told, uh, was it King Solomon who tried to build him a, um, build him a house? Or was it King David? I think it was King David who tried to build him a house, and he, he told, the Lord told him, you know, I can't be held within temples. Right. You know, so that's why you got to be out here prophesying. So exactly. if you believe in the Lord, you got to be out prophesying. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And they say, uh, two or three gather in my name, there I'll be. Yeah, there, yep, there I am in the midst. That's right. That's right. You know? So that's, that, like I said, that's essentially why I'm out here. Hey, I, I definitely have a lot of respect for you. God bless you. All right, now. All right, again, hey, hey, the spirit is out, man. All right? It's, hey, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Again, the, the same stone, the people rejected, the same has become the head of the corner, man. Okay? Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Christ, is the top dog. All right, he's the top. He's the top man. Okay, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. All right, that's his, that's going to be his title when he come back and he delivers people. All right, who are Israelites according to the faith. All right, according to nationality, according to the spirit. Okay, but like I said, two thirds, two thirds rejected him. Okay, they had hey, two thirds had true hate for Yahweh Shah, man. Still do to this day. All right, because the scriptures say what what what, what they say, man. When when Yahweh was on the scene, all right, uh, 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 to Pilate, man, we won't eat. All right, we won't eat until this man is dead. All right, that's true hate. Okay, and that that hate is still here today through the spirit, man, because all of y'all came back. You know, all of y'all came back through the spirit. All right. Matthew 21 and 43, it says, Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of the Most High shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the word, man. Okay? That's Yahweh Shah talking that boss talk. All right? So, so Yahweh Shah said, this is going to be taken from you and given to somebody else more profitable, man. Okay, because those wicked scribes and Pharisees, they thought they was totally righteous, man. But Yahweh shall call them out each and every time. All right? Yahweh shall uh, stay calling them out, man. Stay checking them. All right? Because they were proud, man. They thought that they was the, the real men of the Most High because they uphold the, the, the keepings of the Old Testament. You know? And beat Jacob into submission. All right, under uh, uh, Caesar and Pilate and the rest of them, man. All right, I'm gonna read it again. Say Matthew 21 and 43. It says, "Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof." Okay, and that's that's what you see going on today. The prophets, because we're more profitable, man. We're way more profitable. All right, to the Most High. Okay, we come out and we do the work. I show you how who the world calls Christ to get his glory. All right, but all you you guys in the uh in the in the church houses, which is which are harlot houses, y'all not really teaching the word, man. I like you're not really, but y'all not teaching the word, man. Y'all not teaching a hundred percent truth. You ain't even teaching five percent of it. Okay, that's why you how who the world calls Christ got to come back and get busy with you. You know, and the spirit been heavy on the elders and the apostles because. These uh these Christian demons, okay, these Harlot House demons, all right, they've been trying to uh, uh they've been attacking the elders online, man. 
All right, which is, hey, which the Lord sees all of you guys, man. All of you guys who try to hide behind your computer screen. All right, the Lord sees you. All right, you can't hide from the most high, man. You can run. You can run as fast as you can, but you cannot hide, man. All right? Matthew 21 and 44, it says, And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. Yeah, because the truth is a stumbling block to you uh, um, Harlem house goers, man. Okay? You Jesus Christians. The truth is a stumbling block to y'all, man. All right? Hey, what the, what the scriptures say? Ye do err and not know in the scriptures. Okay? But it says, whoever the stone shall fall. Okay, representing Yahweh Shah. Okay, whoever, whosoever the stone shall fall upon shall grind him to powder, man. All right? Ultimately, Yahweh Shah is going to crush you, all right, spiritually and physically, man, okay, because you're wicked, all right, and you, you, you think you're righteous, but you're not. Verse 45, Matthew 21 and 45, and when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard this par his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. Yeah, he knew, uh, they knew that Yahweh Shah was talking about them. They knew that Yahweh Shah was, was, was checking their asses, man. And they got offended. All right? They got in their feelings. It's like, yo, this dude is talking to us, man. He talking about us? Yeah, they, they perceived that that uh, Yahweh Shah was talking about them. All right? Verse 46, Matthew 21 and 46, it says, But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude, because they took him for a prophet. <laughs> yeah. So when they sought to uh, uh, put their hands on Yahweh Shah, or who the world calls Christ, when they, when they sought to uh, uh, grab him up, they saw the multitude behind him. All right, the multitude that, that, that believed in him, that knew that he was a prophet. 